This is my intro music. Welcome to the video. I hope you like it lots, so don't forget to subscribe and put the thumbs up button. Now let's react. Hey, hi, hello there, and welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amberlyn Reed. She just gave us a new video. It's an hour old as of this viewing. It's my new meal plan, what I ate at 500 pounds. I'm interested. I've already watched it. I'm not mad. It's not the worst video. It's actually, compared to the last one she put out, really good. So there you have that. Um, Those nails still kill me, and I hate this shirt. But you know what? Rock, rock yourself out, girl. Rock yourself out. All right, anyway, I am an anthropologist by training. I am a retired archaeologist. Those are my credentials. I like watching Amber because she is a great microchasm of a subculture the amberverse is a real thing you can really study it it's very interesting to me um culture on the internet is a fascinating topic and all of that is anthropology so there you have it uh yes thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel i think i'm just at four thousand, which is um when I'm going to do an AMA. Somebody told me to ask you guys to check that you're still subscribed because apparently YouTube really does unsubscribe people. I think that's weird, but there you have it. Thank you to my members and welcome to my new members. Uh, it's good to see you. And um, yes, thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. I don't know why, it, but I feel kind of out of it today. So uh, if I seem kind of spacey, that's why. I also think I'm going to put my glasses on. So give me just a second. So this are sunglasses, so we're going to go with these. These are blue blockers. I think blue light irritates my eyes, but now I look like your grandmother. I'm giving your granny a kiss. Everyone's nightmare. Everyone's nightmare. All right. She is sped up to time and a quarter. I always speed her up. So if she seems animated, that's because she's quick. Quick on her feet. All right. Anyway, let's find out what Amber's eating, why she's eating it. We can speculate on. Uh, I probably won't do too much body language stuff just because it's actually a decent video, in my opinion. So let's go. Like the time. Hey guys, welcome to Hi. a new video. So today we're gonna do a what I ate today video. So in this video, I am going to show you like the time stamps, like what time it is when I eat. Time stamps? I kind of just listened to it. I guess I should pay more attention each meal because people have requested that I do that. So currently my microwave says it's 817. My stove says it's 1235. Both of those are incorrect. Um, it is 10 a.m. in the morning. I woke up two hours ago. My alarm was set for 8 a.m. And the first thing I'm about to have is some coffee. I got up at 730 this morning, which my goal is to get up at 7. So 730 was good for me. We're migrating. What's going <laughs> what's going to happen is daylight savings hasn't rolled around yet. I'm going to get used to getting up at 7 and then it's going to be what? Is it going to be eight or six? God, I can't even remember. I think it's going to go back to being six in the morning. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, so let's get into it. First things first, we need a glass, a straw, of course. There is just something about glass straws that just makes me cringe. And it's because the idea of the straw breaking in my mouth terrifies the crap out of me like on a on an irrational level and so every time i see glass straws i'm just like Ugh, it's like the worst thing ever of course so i got some starbucks iced coffee this is blonde roast unsweetened black i have i do i do like their blonde roast and i saw somebody in the comments of this video say something to the effect of girl were boycotting starbucks um, fun fact, any of the Starbucks products that are out in the supermarkets that you don't purchase out of the store itself, and I think even then, they're actually owned by Nestle, so you should be boycotting them anyway. Have some Coffee Mate. This coffee Mate, also made by Nestle, which is unfortunate. I actually do like Coffee Mate. This is zero sugar French vanilla creamer. I also have some sugar-free French vanilla flavoring. I think I missed this part. Why do you need French vanilla flavoring if you're going to use the French vanilla uh, creamer? There is more than enough flavor in this. I haven't had the zero sugar before, and I haven't had this stuff in years. But even my creamer that I use, which is um, Silk Brand, 
is their oat milk because it's the only thing I can find at the grocery store. I actually prefer their um, soy creamer, but whatever. I guess we're drinking oat milk now because that's what all the kids like. Anyway, not bitter. It's plenty sweet. Like it's, I don't add sweetener to my coffee anymore because the, the creamer is plenty sweet. The only time I use a, a syrup is if I'm trying to change the flavor of the coffee. Like I have a cherry syrup or a blueberry syrup, which this is the other reason why I'm, I'm baffled because this is French vanilla and this is French vanilla. You're, it's not like you're making, you know, like salted caramel flavored coffee. You know, it's, it's the same flavor. What's the point? It's just a lot of fake sugar. And I have Splenda made with. Wow, I totally missed this. Um, okay. Stevia. So I do not have any ice. So okay, hang on though. Is it that she needs all of these things because she likes her coffee that sweet? Might be yes. Or also maybe. Does she need all of these things because she thinks this is how you make coffee? Like, she thinks you have to have coffee, you have to have a sweetener, you have to have a syrup, and you have to have creamer. Like, because she always buys her coffees from Starbucks, and I'm sure that's how she thinks they're made, because they always have a, a flavor syrup if you, get a, if you get something besides black coffee. And they'll always put a creamer in as well, and I'm pretty sure their creamer sweetened. So, the sugar part, maybe she just feels like she... My point is, is... Is she really consuming these because she likes it or is she doing this because she thinks this is how a proper coffee is made? You see what I'm saying? So we will not be using ice. I don't know about y'all, but my favorite ice ever is from Sonic. I don't care. Like literally the best. So I'm pretty caffeine sensitive. I've gotten better with that recently. So I'm not trying to have like a ton you can just stop right there. That That's how I drink my coffee right there. Uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know. That's a generous amount of creamer. I don't measure my creamer anymore because I don't care. But, but I mean, that that's a generous amount of creamer. I like my coffee to turn white like that. I guess beige. Beige is a bit better color, I guess. I don't know how to describe that exactly. I don't like black coffee. Let me put it that way. This just like makes my teeth hurt looking at it and i know none of this is real sugar of uh coffee over here so that's why i didn't fill it all the way up plus if i had ice it would be filled up to the top i'm gonna add a little would bit it? of this now Whoop, cut so i'm gonna add a little bit of the stevia now okay now i'm even more convinced that she just thinks that's how you make coffee there wasn't i mean other than she just kind of like eyeballed the pour but she did make it sound like she put too much in like so that wasn't as much as she was expecting to put in that's why we use measuring spoons or just use your spoon. Um, but then also with the stevia, she didn't... It wasn't even a full spoonful. So, I just wonder if this is how she thinks coffee is made. Whether she likes it this way or not. It's going to be really sweet, though. Coffee is complete. Now we're going to do a taste test. That's good. I just remember, like, when I used to drink coffee when I first woke up in the morning... She knows that we know that she's not always been a coffee drinker. So I think that's what that little deceptive dip was about. Like, it would hold my appetite a lot. Plus, without having to state the obvious, it did give me some energy. So I'm going to drink this and I'll see you guys for my first meal when I have it. Okay. She's going to drink the coffee. I, you know, I'm not worried about it. Um, we all know that she started drinking coffee for realsies when wifey first moved in and she got caught with the coffee because amber is not amber one of the things amber has been constant about is her caffeine sensitivity to the point where she stopped drinking caffeinated uh soda so um but she was drinking dr pepper the other day wasn't she and that is not caffeine free so yeah i don't know anyway i guess welcome to the coffee club i started i didn't start drinking coffee until i was like 30 something either so Hey guys, so it's about 2.20. I'm about to have a water. I made a smoothie. So we have a smoothie. It's up to here, as you can see. Still haven't even tried it. And I made some scrambled eggs. So here you can watch me do that. 
So she's trying to convince me that she hasn't eaten anything until 2 p.m. And we do kind of have to take her word for it because she stated that both of the clocks in her video are wrong. I understand why she, I mean, I know there's some people, why haven't you set your clocks? Because she doesn't want us to know what time it is. And there's way too many people who look at the the clocks on her microwave and on her oven as timestamps. So unfortunately, you can do basic math to figure out how off her clocks are now, I guess. I'm not going to because I don't care that much. But I also am not going to believe that she woke up at 8 and this is the first meal she's going to eat for the day. I know she says she's doing intermittent fasting. Um... And I do that as well. I know a lot of people who do that. She's not doing OMAD. So we don't, it's not like she's waiting to have her one and only meal. Um, I don't buy that she hasn't eaten anything this morning. Um, coffee's great, but it's not going to tide you over that much. Like, it's what? Well, son of a bitch, it's almost two here, and I haven't had breakfast yet either. Never mind. So I'm going to have three eggs. I still don't think Amber went till two o'clock without eating. Let me wash my hands real quick. Wash them hands. So in the bowl, I'm just going to add pepper, some garlic salt, and whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. All right, that is finished. So to the pan, I'm just gonna add some of this olive oil Pam. I'm going to add my eggs. What did that say? So while my eggs are cooking, I'm going to make a smoothie. This is literally straight to the point. Probably not gonna be for everyone. So I'm gonna add some of this frozen strawberry. I know I went on a strawberry banana rant in the last video. I do like real strawberries and real bananas and I do like them blended up into smoothies. It's kind of like an icy cream kind of a thing. I don't like strawberry banana flavored anything else, like the fake stuff. It just is so gross. I don't like strawberry flavored s nothing. It has to be real strawberries or nothing. And bananas. And bananas. My god. I'm sorry, the ASMR part of this is just getting on my nerves. And then I'm going to add this Premier Protein. It is so she's using these Premier Proteins kind of like... um like diet shakes and I wouldn't recommend it as you can see this one's only 160 calories and yeah it's 30 grams of protein but it's not really satiating like I said I drink these when I go through my phases where I'm just like not hungry and clearly those are not frequent or long but um it's, it's not gonna like it, it's not food but her and Anna are both using Premier Protein as like their protein girly shit. So I don't recommend it. I really don't. Uh, and, and I'm somebody who drinks these. I just wouldn't recommend it. If you needed like a pick me up after an actual workout or you were doing like a long haul and you didn't want to pack in a crap ton of food, but you did want to have, you know, liquids and proteins, I guess. These are great. They're kind of like a multivitamin, like a liquid multivitamin, but I would not. I would not use them as a dieting aid, and I would not use them as a meal replacement. Purposefully. It is in the chocolate peanut butter, which is like my fave. So it's going to be chocolate peanut butter strawberry banana. Okay, so smoothie is done. Now I'm going to pick a cup to use. Ooh. I think I'm going to go for this one because she is so ah. cute. Notice the Stanley cup is still back there. Also, she has that set up like a damn display case. That didn't blend the very eggs well. Eggs are also complete, and I'm going to be taking some tapatio and adding that to my eggs. Okay, so now that we are all caught up, it's time to do a taste test. Let's try the smoothie. Oh, that's good. No shit. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I'm also quite thirsty because I haven't drank anything today besides the coffee. I believe that. Which I know a lot of people are going to be mad about that because you guys are telling me I need to be drinking more liquid. I just, 
I'm not a liquid girly. I mean, I am, but I'm telling you, I can go hours and hours and hours without drinking a single drop of anything. Anyways. Amber the camel has one hump. Amber the camel has one hump. Amber the camel has one hump. Something I don't know the rest of the words. Let's chow down on some freaking eggs. Mmm. Tapatio on eggs. It hits different. Hot sauce on eggs is good. Bite me. My favorite is uh, eggs mixed with beans and hot sauce. Bite me. I don't care. You're not changing my mind on that one. Alright. Um, the water thing. I understand that she can go until forever without drinking water. That's not the point. Which just like the fact that she just misses the point every time. I can't tell if it's intentional or not because it's such a big miss. But it could also be like just not to be rude just ignorance ignorance and that like lack of education not like i think you're stupid i mean i think she's ignorant um and i think that's what's happening here she thinks people are like oh you should drink more because you should be thirstier and she's like i'm not thirsty therefore i don't want i don't need water that's not how this works um and she's, I can't, like like I said, I can't tell if she's purposefully missing the point or what. But um, if you're somebody who's like, I'm not thirsty until 2 p.m., drink water anyway. Like, try to get at least two to three cups in. Like, maybe you don't need to drink gallons and gallons of water because you probably don't. But um, your body is water. On to her, her explaining eggs to us. And yes, every time I eat an egg, people are like, aren't you allergic? No, not allergic. I do have an egg intolerance, which actually runs in the family because my aunt and my mom also suffer with the same thing. Certain ways that eggs are cooked, the protein just does a weird situation type deal. And scrambled eggs actually used to make me super sick. Like it would literally feel like I had the flu for a solid like three hours after I would eat scrambled eggs. And it's weird. As I've gotten older, it's gotten better. There You're 33. It was like a moment in my late 20s where it was like the worst ever. You're 33. Um, but it's actually gotten a lot better. So in the same way that people a are like better. lactose intolerant, but they still want to eat some ice cream here and there, it's kind of like the same thing. Like if I'm eating it and I feel sick afterwards, it's my fault. I think, sorry guys. I think the problem is, is that she thinks eggs are a health food and she's on a health kick. And so she's going to eat eggs because she, she thinks they are healthy. She's not wrong. And I think the other thing with the scrambled eggs, she's also not wrong about this. Uh, Chikara Transformations fact checked her and I looked it up myself. It, there is something about scrambling the eggs that releases or damages some protein. And so people who are not allergic to eggs can have an intolerance to scrambled eggs specifically. It's very strange, but whatever. It is a thing. Um, that being said, why does she scramble her eggs? Why doesn't she do any other way of cooking an egg? Um... Because hard uh, frying an egg is kind of difficult and I don't think she knows how to do it, honestly. <laughs> Either that or she always overcooks it. I don't know. I love a good fried egg sandwich. Ooh, that sounds good too. Mm. Anyway, I think she scrambles the eggs because this is the only way she knows how to really cook an egg. And I, I think that's it. I think she eats the eggs because she thinks they're health food and she doesn't know a better option. And I think she scrambles them because it's the only way she knows how to cook eggs. There's not a lot of options when you're cooking an egg, though, to be honest. But there you have it. Hey, guys. So it is 7 p.m. I have my next meal going. I have some rice going, some salmon going, and some broccoli pretty much done over here. I'm going to get this out of the water real quick so it's not cooked too much. This is another. She's on a low-carb, no-sugar kick. Somebody was like, oh, it's a diabetic diet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. But with Amber... She's never going to admit to having diabetes, you guys. That's going to be one of the one things she's not going to admit to having or hint at having. So I don't, I don't think it's a diabetic thing. I think she's doing, I think, I think she's back on an anti-inflammatory keto style diet um, because her symptoms are getting worse. But she's not, again, going to admit that either. Even though I'm not going to lie to you, I like broccoli in all forms, even if it is super soft. I, I can't stand broccoli. But today we want her a little crunchy, so I'm gonna take her out now. So I'm going to do the temperature on my salmon because I need that cooked way more than it even is supposed to be. I mean, we could buy a tripod, but we'd rather just do this weird stack of crap. 
That's just the way that I do things around here. Oh, okay. It's going up to 180. Okay. She's about done. To film, I literally set you guys on top of Bounty. The saga series. Why does she keep doing that? Bounty! Okay. What is that? That's uptick, right? That's up talk. When you bring that. A lot up talk was when you made everything sound like a question at the end. At the end, I thought this was up talk. <laughs> but I imagine like screeching the last syllable of everything would probably be up talk too. Series I'm obsessed with, and I use my little tripod right here. Right now, you guys are currently just in a little cabinet type deal. So, so in ingenuitive. That's not the word I want. Okay, so let's make my bowl. So first things first, which I did add some chicken bouillon to the rice. I, I honestly think she's saying bouillon correctly, which blows my mind. To give it some flavor. Next is my piece of salmon. <laughs> you mean your piece of fish jerky? Jesus. All right. And now my broccoli. Because I like it spicy, I'm going to add a little bit of sriracha. I'm also going to add just a few pieces of jalapeno. Jalapeno. On the side, pickled jalapeno. Heck yeah. So there it is. That is my meal for now. All right, so let's do a taste test. I have some of the rice and salmon. I was going to say, I think it might be a low sodium thing, but she's she's using fake bouillon for this. I know that because she's used it before. Um... And you know she put garlic salt on the salmon, so. Um, and honestly, the hot sauces, as delicious as they are, they tend to be kind of high sodium as well. So I don't think she's doing low sodium. I don't think Amber could do low sodium. Salt is like one of the five food groups for her. <laughs> mm. That's weird. That's so good. If salmon is cooked correctly and seasoned to my liking, it is probably one of my most favorite foods ever. Damn it. And she's still eye banging herself when she eats. Uh, I was going to say something about how she overcooks everything and doesn't know what a properly cooked piece of salmon is like, but you know what? If that's not how she likes it, that's not how she likes it. Then I just love a good jalapeno moment. You couldn't eat it with your fork. You had to eat it with your fingers. What is with you and Foodie Beauty and shoving food in your mouth via your hands? I'm thirsty. Let me get a drink. I'm going to have a mini Sprite Zero. God forbid you have water. That's satisfying. Okay. I don't like Sprite. Never have. Don't like 7-Up either. Not a fan of them. Okay, guys. So it's time for my next meal. I'm going to be having... Now, she had the salmon and rice at 7, according to her. So what time is this? Not that I care. So far, she's had a pretty low-cal day. However, I'm just like, what time of the day is it that you are now eating another full meal one of my most favorite amy tv dinner this is the chinese noodles and veggies in a cashew cream sauce do they even call them tv dinners these days i mean for her they might be they were called tv dinners because you were meant to heat them up in the oven back in the day and then eat them in front of your television because that wasn't considered bad yet um so i always hear them either called microwave meals or frozen meals so freaking good so I'm gonna cook it in the microwave. It literally takes four and a half minutes. It says put a slit in it. I don't do that. I usually just open it like that and call it. So quirky. No one, no one else does that. Only you. Only you. Anyway. The day. Four and a half minutes. In we go. So while that's doing its thing, I also add two ingredients to it. I add the tiniest bit of soy sauce and I add a little bit of sriracha for some spice. Mm, sriracha. I don't have any sriracha right now. It is a sin against God and man. I, now I know she's not doing low sodium because like, why? Why would you add soy sauce to, to a, a microwave meal? And obviously your girl needs something to drink. I'm going to have obviously. a Gatorade. This is the blue one. Oh my God. Anyway. Glacier freeze. And I know I recently talked about the whole mold and Gatorade. You are an idiot. And I left a comment on this video. Because it just, it, I should go delete that comment, to be perfectly honest. It's just, stop it. Scholar Lynn in the house, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about that some more, because I did some more research. Did you, though? Did you? This is her, this is her, like, 
you're all a bunch of idiots. I'm right face. Amber, I got some news for you, babe. So on the bottom here, which I have never seen it with this with this flavor Gatorade. Uh, you're especially not going to see it after you shook it back up because it's just the freaking sediment from the from the electrolytes in the Gatorade. I have only ever seen it with the orange one, but down here there's like you only checked the orange one because you only had the orange one to check. A white substance. Residue. On the inside of this. That's not even the right word. Sediment. And it actually is mold. It actually is not. And Gatorade Company even confirmed. Gatorade Company confirmed it back in 2018 when there was actual white mold, which does not look anything like that stuff that she's claiming is mold. Uh, in the Gatorade. There was a, a there was an incident of that. Gatorade did a massive recall. Gatorade did a recall, pulled all the stuff that possibly could have been and also was contaminated with white mold. 2018 this happened. It has not happened since. Well, it hasn't been confirmed as happening since. I'm not saying like we should trust Gatorade because like they are a bastion of honesty in the, in the corporate world. I expect that they're out there trying to screw me over in some way because I'm that big of a pessimist. However, if there had been another white mold outbreak, I'm pretty sure we would have heard about it and there would be news articles about it in the news because this kind of stuff gets picked up fast and moves fast. You know? Anyway. Amber is once again full of poop shit. That it is mold but it is edible. I'm saving this face. So, <laughs> what? There's like actual articles about it and stuff, so. I hate when she does it. So, what? Her like, I'm so smart, you're an idiot. I just, that's exactly what she's doing there. And this is like the G-Wagon thing. She was so positive that the G-Wagon was a Jeep and she was like, oh, I love Jeeps. Jeeps are my favorite car. I can't wait to have a Jeep. My absolute favorite type of Jeep is the G-Wagon. Okay, well, I was unaware of that. But apparently Amber, who has done all of this research on Jeeps. <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> so here we are again. This is the whole cats, cats can steal your breath or steal your soul or whatever the hell it was that she said in the last video. And now we're back on the white mold in the Gatorade. I'm thinking the white molds in her brain, but. So if you guys want to go read that, go read that because I read a lot about it. Then I also researched this um, using Google as well. What is her Google like? Like where, why is she always so terribly misinformed? Is it just that like my algorithm knows I'm not a gullible idiot and therefore I get better sources or, or what? Or is she using Bing? That's really all I can come up with. I haven't tried to use Bing recently, but I know it's terrible. <laughs> sorry, Microsoft, not sorry. When y'all heard me talk about it, y'all were sending me articles in the Instagram, and it's very fascinating how Gatorade is like, yeah. I Amber, I have a bridge in San Francisco. I can sell it to you dirt cheap. You could own a bridge in San Francisco. I have mold in my drinks. Go ahead and drink it. You'll be fine. And yet you are going to drink a Gatorade. And the only reason you're drinking the blue flavor is because you've never seen the sediment in the blue flavor. Therefore, the blue flavor must be okay. Why would you assume? Why would any logical person? I know I'm asking a redundant question right now. If you truly believed that there was white mold in one flavor of Gatorade, why would you think that every other flavor of Gatorade is safe? If I thought that there was mold in some beverage, some flavor of a beverage that I drank, I would not drink that product at all ever again. I don't care what flavor it is. If there's mold in one flavor, there's mold in all of them. Where is the logic here? There's mold in the orange flavor because I saw it, even though that's not what white mold looks like. Just look it up on the internet. It's not hard. 
but yet I've never seen it in the blue Gatorade. Ergo, the blue Gatorade is safe to drink. Okay, sure, fine, whatever. I don't know why I'm getting so angry. The ill lot, the let it go. Drink the white mold, Amber. Enjoy. Nope. You're so much. Me. You're so much smarter than everyone, and this proves it. Drink a Gatorade, but again, this one doesn't have it. Okay, so it's complete, and I promise you, it is freaking tasty. It's like one of my favorites ever. I bang ten myself. Ten, so I just sat down to eat the Amy's TV dinner, and I forgot to tell you guys what time it is. It is 11 p.m. Oh, okay. Well, I was wondering. So she ate at two. She ate at seven. And then she ate again at 11. All right. And so this is going to be her last meal of the day at 11. So I am to believe that basically from midnight until two, she doesn't eat because the window, the fasting window ends when you put the last bite of food into your mouth. And I'm just giving her a generous hour to eat her food. She probably doesn't need more than 10 minutes. Okay, you guys. So it is later at night. I don't plan on eating anything else. Plan. For things to drink, I do plan on drinking more water, so I'll probably have, like, another water bottle. But besides that, that is everything that will be going into my mouth, besides, like, a toothbrush. So I'm very proud of today. I made great decisions. I really want to eat similarly to this every single day, so this is kind of... That's why there's, like, 19 million Amy's frozen meals all of the exact same in her freezer right now. How long will this last, I wonder? Kind of, like, a meal plan for me. There might be, like, a few tweaks, but for the most part, I just want to keep it simple. I'm not really... Also, she bought a crap ton of chicken. She bought, like five cans of canned chicken and she bought like a package of i think four chicken breasts so three or four chicken breasts so i'm sure we're going to see those pop up if the type of person that gets sick of eating the same thing every single day that's a damn lie wow i i don't care but she's just like flat lying here but i really just want to like have a plan because i think what might be the easiest for me is to have that plan so i'm not like no shit you mean having a plan for what you're going to eat ahead of the time that you want to eat makes it easier to track what you're eating. Amber, you're a genius. <laughs> this is what people have been telling her to do for decades at this point. Make a meal plan. This is, this is meal prepping for her. Like frozen meals are meal prepping for her. Like, I, I'm glad you finally made the connection, Amber. Will you stick to it? I don't know. She looked like she was actually eating some fairly satiating stuff. Um, I mean, what she ate today would keep me full. So there's that. There's not a lot of carbs in that. She had some rice. She had the noodles in the, the Amy's thing. Um... Her portion sizes weren't insane today either. I mean, three eggs. I usually have three to four eggs if I'm really hungry. And the rice might have been a cup of rice. I'm just kind of trying to think about it. And that stick of uh, jerky that she called fish, that's a normal portion size. And who cares how many vegetables she eats? Um, and then obviously the Amy's meal is one serving. Um... So, I mean, I don't think her serving sizes were outrageous today. Uh, I don't think her food choices were outrageous today. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and believe that this is all she ate today. Um, I don't know. Do I think she might have been hungry throughout the day? I don't, you know, I don't know. When you start off doing these things, sometimes you don't have that hunger, you know, the hunger yet because like, it's new and you've got some willpower though some people start these things and they're just like i'm starving from day one so you know it just depends on the person um I, don't know. I think her meals today were actually really good i honestly don't have anything against the frozen meal i know a lot of people will have issue with it i don't i wouldn't have added soy sauce but whatever i'm not i don't think salt is is the the great enemy that everyone wants it to be so but yeah i don't think this was a bad of the days of eating we have seen her do, I don't think this was a bad day of eating. There were no pudding cups, or at least she didn't show them. There's no candy she didn't that she didn't show. Um, so I don't. What else does she usually sneak in there? There's there's no snack bars or meal bars or whatever she tries to sneak in here and there. 
there was no grazing from the fridge like she does. We didn't see where are all of those damn hard boiled eggs that she bought. She bought like an armload of those things. That was a week ago though. She probably ate them. But no, she's not eating the hard boiled eggs. Maybe she just got tired of them. I don't know. That does remind me I need to hard boil some eggs. I don't know. I don't have a problem with what she ate today. Honestly. I think it's there there was really nothing wrong with it. Waiting around like, hmm, what am I gonna eat? I don't know. I should just order takeout. I actually felt super satisfied today. I felt like I had a decent amount of food. It was all pretty healthy in my opinion for myself and it kept me feeling insatiated and I feel good. And if you guys did make it this far, you're gonna get a little sneak peek. I didn't film it though. I just did it in private. I weighed myself today and I was 503.2. So I feel like I'll be out of the- She's not lying about that. The 500 soon, especially if I keep up this type of meal plan. So I'm super excited for that. So I think she's actually motivated to get out of the 500s. She didn't, as far as I could tell, she didn't dip into her making it up zone at all. Good for you, Amber. Good for you. I would really like to see her get to 450. Am I optimistic it will happen? No. Am I hoping it will happen? Yes. I do wish health and wellness for all of the girls. Am I, am I naive enough to believe it's going to happen? No. But, you know, uh, she... She seems motivated to get under 500. She seems motivated to get, well, into the 400s, I guess. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see something here. She has managed to whittle her way down from 600 because, I'm sorry, she was 600 pounds. I don't care what she said. Um, but, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Am I still angry about last video? Yes. So yeah, I'm happy with the choices I made today. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. Hey guys. No. All right. Oh, let me do my wrap up. Um, there is no mold in Gatorade. And even if there is mold in Gatorade, Gatorade has not confirmed that there's mold in Gatorade and they have certainly not said that it's edible. I don't know if white mold's edible. I'm pretty sure it's, well, I mean, anything's edible if you swallow it, but I don't, I don't think it's good for you. <laughs> so... I do remember when I was doing my research that there were several articles that were like, if I if I am exposed to white mold, what should I do? And almost all of them said, go to the doctor. So um, I'm going to guess it's not good for you. So I'm, I'm doubly sure that Gatorade would not have said, nah, go ahead and drink it. Who owns Gatorade? Is that a Nestle product as well? Everything's owned by Nestle. Um, her coffee was weird. That was just a lot of sweet things, sweeteners to go into the coffee. I'm not entirely sure that's actually how she likes the coffee. I think she thinks those are the steps to make coffee. You have to have the coffee, you have to have a creamer, you have to have a, a flavored syrup, and you have to have sugar. I think she thinks those are the steps for coffee. I don't think she understands that she could have just stopped at the creamer. Because it's, even though it's sugar-free, it's still probably much sweeter. And even then, the amount of sweeteners that she put in after the creamer were very small compared to how much creamer. So that's why I'm like, maybe, maybe she just thinks those are the steps to making coffee and like the creamer and coffee were sweet enough for her. That's all I usually do. So I don't know. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Talked about the creamer or talked about the coffee, talked about the white mold. What else did I rant about? I know I went on a rant about the, the white mold and that's all I can remember at this point. Um, the water thing. Even though, okay, there's, there's like several different schools of thought on the water thing. One of them is like you should multiply your body weight by two or something like that. There's like a math problem you're supposed to do with your weight and that tells you how many ounces of water you need to drink in a day. Um, there's people who are like, you should have eight ounces of water every hour. There's people who are like, only drink when you're thirsty because you don't, your body knows when it needs water. That's a little intuitive eating kind of a thing. Um, I don't disagree with it, but a lot of times the body will disguise thirst with hunger signals because it's doing anything it can to get water. So I don't know if that's necessarily the best unless you're already in good on good terms with your body's hunger signals i guess is what i'm trying to say 
I don't think you just blanket need to eat, eat, need to drink like two gallons of water every day or whatever. I do think you should have a like a full 12 ounces of water in the morning and probably should have 12 ounces of water sometime before you go to bed. Hopefully not like the hour before you go to bed because then you're getting up. You're getting up first thing in the morning or for, you know, like at midnight to go to the bathroom is kind of my point. I, I think if you're a really active person, you probably need more water. If you're an inactive person, you probably don't need as much water, but you need to drink water. You're, regardless, you need to drink water. So, I don't know. Figure out what the what the proportion is for you. Do I believe Amber's liquid needs is two bottles of water? Absolutely not. That would be too little for everyone. But anyway, I'm just ranting. I can't remember. I'm sure if there was something else, I already went over it when it happened in the video. I think for her, this is a decent video. So there's that. Uh, it's better than the last video. That's not saying much, but even for her. Her eating looked good. Her food choices looked good. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and believe that this is all she ate today. I'm going to say it out loud anyway. Uh, if her weight really is at 503, good for her. That's good. Um, we're, we're just going to take her at face value. Anyway, if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you for putting up with my... I feel like I've been spacey and that this video has kind of been off, but uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for making it this far. Go ahead and put... Oh, the egg thing. I talked about that when the egg thing happened, but go ahead and put an egg down in the comment section and that's, that's your emoji in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't think it's a bad diet. Maybe she's doing Dr. Now's diet, but she wouldn't be able to have noodles and rice if she did that. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about the new meal plan, the new low sugar, kind of low carb meal plan she's got. Mostly she's just cutting out sugar right now, it looks like. That seems to be the only thing she's really cut. I didn't see any dairy. Nope, I take that back. There was creamer, wasn't there? No, well, those creamers I think are non-dairy. Would she know that? No. I don't know. I guess we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. Because the premier proteins are made with whey. So, I don't know. All right, I'm just staring off into space. I think I need to go eat, I think is the problem. So I will see everybody. Thank you again for my supporters. Thank you again to the subscribers. Thank you again to my members. All of you people rock. Thank you to everybody who's going to give this the thumbs up. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. I do this kind of content pretty frequently at this point. So stick around. And yeah, I will see everybody in the next one. So bye. This is my outro music. You can't copyright strike me because it's just me singing. This is my outro music. Thank you for watching. See you next time.